Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. This is my review of the brand new Beat Box, which comes from Monster. Of course, the makers of the Beats by Dr. Dre headphones and in-ear buds. Now to get to the portable iPod speaker system, and it works really, really good. But this first, let's go ahead and talk about the hardware. Now, the device itself has a type of a wedge shape, so it's really meant to fit into the corners of the room to fill the room up with the sound. And also at the top, you have a little carrying handle and also the little uh, docking station for the iPod or the iPhone. It also comes with these little uh, different other modules to fit different models of the iPhone, iPod Touch, or different generations of it. So you have your choice with those things that actually come in handy. Uh, now on the uh, back as well, you have the th uh, 3.5 millimeter um, auxiliary input, but also you have a wireless module, which, which isn't activated at this point. Um, hopefully Monster will make that activated, and that will probably allow for wireless streaming from your computer, the music, to your uh, beatbox. So that should be pretty cool. Now, um, what you're probably really worried about this device is the audio quality and the sound quality. And I can tell you, and I can attest that this thing really sounds excellent. And I say excellent. And even when I turn this thing all the way up, I mean all the way up where it can't go any higher, the sound still remains undistorted. It just still remains quality, remains solid. And I said remains like 10 times there. <laughs> but it really, really sounds good. The bass, of course, coming with the Beats by Dr. Dre lined up. The bass is really thumping. It really loud, but it doesn't over you know overpower the vocals or any other instrumentals. Everything else works in perfect harmony with this thing. So go ahead and listen to this uh, quick little taste of it and see how it sounds for yourself. It's a quick little audio sample, but it, it probably sounds 10 times better in person instead of listening to the audio from YouTube video, but it, just trust me, it really, really sounds good. Now, one of the cons that a lot of people have been complaining about is the remote control is lacking a little bit. For an expensive, expensive device like this, a remote control just seems like it would just it, it needed just a, a few more dollars put into it. It could have been perfect. Sometimes you hit the button, doesn't always register uh, with the beatbox. And since the beatbox doesn't have controls on the device itself, you either have to use this or go over there and actually work the controls on the iPod Touch or the iPhone itself, which, you know, just really <laughs> wishes that this uh, remote control was a little bit better. Just a little bit better. But that's not a killer you know, thing or a killer thought about it at all. But overall, I can recommend the device. The device itself, you can find it as low as $400. And um, I think there are other iPod docks in the iPod docks in this price range uh, from Bose and different companies like that. So this is not terribly expensive, but it's just something that you really want to be able to make sure you're paying your money for it and get the same really good quality out of it. And this really does deliver on that. So if you have this uh, beatbox or you just have an opinion about it, leave a comment down below. I'll leave a link down below to the product website. You can check all the individual features of it. But thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.